The Silverwind Larian Mount requires you to jump through a lot of different hoops in order to get. So we are going to wander all around Bastion collecting these little gems and I'm going to walk you through how to get every single one of them. And the only thing you're going to need are a few goblin gliders. Quick housekeeping things, I am using an add-on called Handy Notes Shadowlands that gives me little markers with a little hint that tells me the approximate location of each gem, but as you'll see, some of these gems get really complicated. For the first one, you are going to go around Aspirant's Awakening and then drop down on top. At the side of Bastion, you are going to approach the edge of the map, you are going to drop down a level, and you are going to find your little prize. North of Aspirant's Reflection, you are going to use the hills, and you are slowly going to make your way down to the waterfall that exists below. You don't want to go to the bottom of the waterfall, there's actually a pool at the top of the waterfall that you're aiming for, and that is where you will find your crystal. For number 4, I actually originally rage quit this one and ventured over, but I did figure out later on that you are actually meant to walk up around the side and then mount hop from pillar to the second pillar where your orb will be waiting for you. Number five is actually easier than you think it is. You are going to jump into the giant lake of water and then you are going to scale the rocks around to your little cell. Number six is going to be underneath the bridge at Purity's Reflection. From the main area of the Temple of Purity, you are going to walk around, out fighting baddies as you need to, and then you are going to scale the wall leading towards those little, I'm going to call them placeholders on the wall, where you're going to need to mount jump from the rocks to the first platform and then to the second platform to claim your gem. For number eight, go to the friendly territory within Purity's Pinnacle and then you are going to wander all the way to the back and then you're going to do a death walk on the ledge where you are going to find your next droplet. Do note these are affected by line of sight so you're going to need to go all the way out there. Number nine is honestly one of my favorite ones. You are going to go all the way around Aspirant's Rest up all the way above so that you are overlooking the tower. From there you are going to use a goblin glider to attack one of the beams. Now from there you are going to jump to the middle, then you are going to jump down to the next beam, and then you will find your prize. Be very slow, be very careful, gliders have a 3 minute cooldown and it sucks when you miss. For number 10, you are going to go all the way around the Vestibule of Eternity until you are above it where you can see this little pond. From there, you are going to jump into the pond and then at the surface or the edge of this pond, you are going to once again jump very narrowly by to find your next gem.
Next, we're at the vestibule of Eternity, where you are going to go beside the bridge, where you can see this underneath compartment. And then you are going to jump towards said underneath compartment and goblin glide safely into it. Your jewel will be in there. As you approach these stairs in the mnemonic lotus, you are going to go underneath the staircase to find your next gem. It's not the first staircase, but it's the one with the little pond underneath it, and you'll, you'll see it. As you approach this bridge in Bastion, you are going to go to the area underneath, and you're going to keep falling down until you find this bell. This bell hosts your next gem. The 14th gem is simply underneath this tree. It is in the brush. You'll see it if you look around a little bit. Your 15th gem can be accessed by simply going to this spot on the map, jumping on the rock, jumping on the house, and then claiming your stone. Number 16 is just off the surface of the pit, near the Cliffs of Respite. Now, be very careful with this jump. Remember, jump, then input. Overlooking the Temple of Courage, you are going to do some very precise jumps. First, jump from the rock onto this grey pedestal, and then you are going to Goblin Glide over there. For number 18, you are going to locate this archway, and you are going to climb to the top of it. You do not need to land on this gem, just simply land on top of the arch, and make sure you have line of sight, and then pick it up. Still in the Temple of Courage, you are going to locate this tilted structure, you are going to approach it, you are going to climb it, and you are going to get your gemstone. For number 20, approach this structure on your map. You can go to the back or the front, but you gotta get underneath it by going underneath the stairs or falling through the back. Underneath, you will find your gem. On the cliffs above the Temple of Courage, you are going to jump from the main cliff to the second layer of cliffs, and then you are going to scale until you find the next gem. From Hero's Rest, you are going to find the staircase, and you are going to go and you are going to slowly make your way down in between in the rocky area. Inside the rocky area is where you will find your next gem. At this bridge, you are going to once again go to the right, and then you are going to find your target, and then you are going to goblin glide at your target. There is that little corner that you can aim for that will slowly bring you towards your prize. Looking above Firstborn's Bounty, you are going to see your target, you are going to mount jump on top of pillars, and acquire your target. Number 25 is at the back of the Hall of Beasts, behind some barrels. This one is literally in a bookcase on the second floor of the Temple of Humility. East of the Temple of Humility, if you jump off the main cliff to the smaller sub-cliff underneath, you will find the next gem. In the Everdawn Commons, if you approach the edge and then fall off the little cliff to the side and go underneath this little lip, you are going to find the next gem. Around the Spires of Ascension portal, you will find the next gem on the dinner table in one of these little rooms.
Now from Ephesus' basin, you are going to walk 500 miles, then you're gonna walk 500 more just to be the person who jumps off this cliff to land and get their next gemstone. Don't mount jump. Overlooking Calliope's Rest, you are going to jump on top of this house, and then you are going to find your gem. In Sage Haven, you are simply going to go up these stairs and you are going to scale the rocks to find the next gem. For number 33, you are going to strategically throw yourself at rocks in order to gain the right path to the next gemstone. Your next gem is overlooking the Path of Wisdom. You just go around, hop down just a little bit, and then there it is. At this transfer station, you are going to walk out on a ledge and you are going to find your next crystal. The next shard is simply at the bottom of this lake. These next three are hard because they're in the elite zone Citadel of Loyalty. This first one is behind these barrels. I would maybe bring an invisibility potion, but there is no shame in dying to get better position when you spawn. Next, you are going to so basically you're going to try and get position in this cave that I like. You can do this by either walking around or you can actually goblin glide from this stone here. After you are in the cave, secure it. And then from there, you are just one mount jump away from getting this stone and running like hell. The next shard in this zone is behind Calliope, just polymorph, kill, what have you, and then get in there and it's on the bookshelf. The precise pathing for people without leaps is really hard for this next one. You have to start exactly where I started, you sneak past this guy, and then you climb up this entire row of rock until you reach the archway, and then you can jump into the archway and claim the stone. This one took me forever to find out. For the next gem, you are going to follow this pathing out of the Terrets of the Collectors. This is going to bring you on top, where you are going to be able to collect the stone. If you enter the cave at the top of Bastion, in the back, in some barrels, there will be your stone. For this stone, you're going to need to take very specific pathing up along the rock face in order to get there. It is, this is probably the most convoluted one, at least there's no elites here. From the northeastern cliffs, you are once again going to look and scale down the rocks to find the next gem. On the cliffs above the memorial shrine, if you jump down a level, staying on the rocks, you will find the next gem. The rest are in dungeons, this one's in the necrotic wake, behind this giant bell structure. Before you take on the second boss, if you clear the edge of the room, you can jump over this banister and climb this rubble to find the next gem. Moving into the Spires of Ascension, after the first boss, the left side lounge chair hides the next gem. After defeating boss 2, before you fly away, climb up the left, it's behind the pillar. And right before the third boss, there's one hanging right on the edge. Now you have all of the crystals, let's continue. After leaving Spires of Ascension, head up the left stairwell and you are going to find this Forge Master. If you talk to them, they are going to forge you a hammer which you are going to need to bring to the gong to get your mount. 
travel to this location on your map and then ring the bell. Then the Larian will fly on down, lay out a chest, and you will then own the mount. Congratulations, you did it. It was a long journey. God knows finding out every way to do it without using Venthyr Teleport almost broke me. But it's done now. Thanks for watching, enjoy your mount, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.